So this week, if I may, I'd like to delve into the mind of how a Chinese medicine doctor would classically think. So, for example, if you're about to treat a patient, how do you go into treating that patient? Are you thinking about how the system of acupuncture works in Chinese medicine, or are you just feeling? What is your mindset? We discussed that uh, the body is a giant, open, um, multi-dimensional system. So by being known that nature, so that's why uh, let let me start like that. So everybody experienced the pain. So the pain is uh, consumer so much uh, financial cost in the entirely world above you know um, medical care. Uh, so uh, in the uh, common sense, pain uh, you need because they're so suffering. Pain is a suffering to make people feel mm-hmm. you, you cannot function normally and then you have to stop your job, even people shocked by the pain. So that is uh, a, a big deal for a human as uh, uh, to carry on the daily life. Uh, so how Chinese medicine review that pain? And how can we release it? <laughs> so that's why by being a know, knowing the system as a multidimensional system, so you start uh, uh, in tune and then to, f- to understand where is the pain come from? Okay, give your examples. Um, some, uh, if you understand that it, uh, meridian system is kind of a, like uh, uh, energy flowing, you know, like, okay, energy is like a too big concept. So it's a vibration. And we're always talking vibe. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. It's like uh, the vibration flow uh, space or tube. People are thinking tube, actually. They're not necessarily tube, but there could be is the one type of the space in, in the body. And the fascinating part is that uh, system connecting to every part of body. They connecting your spine, your nerves, and then you are uh, blood. And you know, because the majority meridian um, uh, channels uh, combine along the nerves. So that's why we did mention that they were thinking Meridian is a nervous system, but actually it doesn't work. <laughs> so, and uh, so that's one of the the reason because they are as like an invisible uh, system, and then going to uh, each small part and the big part of the body. Almost they are, you know, if you could uh, tell tell them that it's just like a ghost system, <laughs> just uh, everywhere, <laughs> affect everything, <laughs> which is, you cannot catch it and then nobody can <laughs> see it. And you know, there are lots of signs and uh, uh, cut the, the body and so like when the people died, they try to cut and see if there's a meridian system. Nobody really can see it. So eventually there's the big discussions that actually they're only existing in the alive. The body. alive body. The alive body. Yeah. Yeah. Because they're just like, you know, can you imagine if you release the radio wave? <laughs> How can you cut it <laughs> and then identify that? Yeah, you destroy the receiver, there's no signal anymore. Yeah, so, that, so that's why it doesn't just doesn't work like that. So in this case, because um, the Chinese medicine actually understand the nature of the human body. So, and now also to treat the body, is uh, uh, such a big open system which have uh, stored a different dimension, the space, uh, the information and the energy. So, uh, so that's why it, we, we call it, it's like complex. 
complex and multiple uh, combination of the uh, energy flow and the information system. So if you know and understand that and uh, their concept and then that nature, so okay, so now, for example, we are uh, and understand there are lots of uh, treatment in the Chinese medicine is to link with uh, uh, how to uh, adjusting the meridians and the point. So that's why if we, uh, you let that's the energy or vibration stream flow better. So therefore, they were carried the information and whatever to. It's like they they are function invisibly support your whole body well being. Put this way, it just like uh, uh, the family. Um, your fathers go outside to do all of the making money sense, but your mother stay inside. But nobody see her, you know, like a lot of people talking about the, the husband said, wow, you know, why you're in such a good state? And um, um, but, uh, but, but uh, suddenly they're deteriorate. I said, oh, they're divorced, the wife gone. <laughs> <laughs> so just it's like uh, <laughs> so there's a support system behind that not been seen, but it's uh, damn important. Okay, back to talking about the pain. That's exactly how it's happening, and um, because the Chinese medicine look at the pain is just a ah okay, either meridian stagnant or blood vessels um, blocked stagnant. Uh, so that's why when they're stagnant, they produce the pain. And then if, we, you, if we, your mind can be able to understand something moving like a river constantly, but in the tube. Um, so if we, the their, um, tube, there's no uh, grass, no, uh, you know, soil blocked, so they can uh, flow very smoothly. But then suddenly there are some rubbish blocked. So therefore, and then the water cannot uh, flow free. So that's why, and then they can cause the water going back or the, uh, the other end hasn't got any. So the other, uh, the other part not get any, and then that's why they create problems because there's no supply. So that means the um, uh, crops or whatever, if that tube to supply for crops, you know, there's no water and then they just dry and died. Okay, I, I'm making that very simple, visible, is uh, just try to illustrate, for example, uh, we do lots of um, massage on the patient or acupuncture or even use uh, herbs. And then the, the fundamental purpose so to make sure that flow is a free. As soon as the flow is a free, you don't need to deal with the pain. The pain will come. For example, if people's stomach blocked and or have toxic, so that's why uh, either you press certain point people start vomiting to get rid of it, or you get some herbs to let people vomiting. And then as soon as the pain goes away, and, and then they feel fine. Like the loss of a, a woman had the period pain. And then they were so painful to take, you know, tablets and whatever, still feel painful. But as soon as the, um, they release the blood clogs, because sometimes you can see the clocks come out. As soon as the blood stagnant clocks are come out, the pain immediately stop. So and then so that's why uh, Chinese medicine understand the pain is a blockage. If there's uh, any uh, blockage, it can be caused the pain on a different type of pain. If it blocks very serious, it's a sharp pain. If it's a block, gently it's a dull ache. If it's a long-term blockage, but they still can flow, it's a constant dull ache. So, okay, in this case, so why there are so many people um, blocked? 
Aha, you know, in the modern world is uh, stress. <laughs> stress, emotion is stress can cause the block. Because you have to get tense, your muscles tense, you're, you're clenching your teeth, your shoulder pull up. Yes, so therefore, and then block the major meridians. And when they're blocked, the, the flow cannot happen. So of course, that's why, why the massage uh, become uh, very popular. And then people say, oh, go into those kind of uh, and, um, massage <laughs> and uh, relaxation and then those in so-called uh, uh, energy center and then deep in the water and the massage and then feel better. There's just some, something simply like that. Okay, there is some um, uh, research where I uh, actually observed. It, it's uh, illustrated that. Um, I was invited by the um, Reflexology uh, Association in China to attending their conference to talk about the listen to your body. Now, how can you kind of uh, um, to get to know what's the body state? So that, that's, that's my part. But their part, there's one uh, uh, kind of a presentation. I was uh, super impressed. It is about the show, about one minute video, about the uh, people had a stroke. Um, they checked and f through their eyes to observing the brain um, blood vessels. So the, the, they took photos to show the blood vessels already become uh, very pale or very little number uh -huh. um, and then so so that person the face very pale too and almost like cannot function cannot thinking properly so all right um under the that research conducting and then uh they massage this patient's feet just an ordinary foot reflexology mm. so to massage and I massage for about one hour, of course. So that's why I stimulate the feet uh, circulation. And, and then through the, uh, the film, you can see after they're doing the comparison, before the, the foot massage or after foot massage. So after foot massage, so uh, suddenly they see the black uh, blood vessels, which have lots of uh, uh, red blood cells, and then uh, are sort of like pairs and then sticking with each other in the blood uh, in the blood cells. So when when the massage to the end, so those uh, mm, red blood cells start opening up and then these. This disappeared as like losing up. So um, first you can see the those kind of uh, red blood cells um, m like moving forward and then backward and then they stick t together and moving backward, stick together and basically not moving. With the massage carry on to the end, so that the uh, the red blood cells has become uh, start losing up, disappeared move on and then they all gradually disappear and then suddenly blood flow like highway and almost like a hundred miles <laughs> car driving become so fast that before it's like a gunching 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 carry like a cow <laughs> <laughs> carriage like a verse and then even going back but but after massage they just like like an autumn kind of like a spinning so and then they look at the blood uh, patient's black vessels um, blood vessels mm. it was interesting amazing and then there are those paled blood vessels that can become a red become thicker and then the blood um, vessels number become a uh, more uh, before it's all pair even disappeared, but suddenly the numbers are going more. And then the, the pairs went full of blood, and so the patient's face become uh, uh, reddish. It's like the pink colors coming, mm. coming not reddish, pink colors come back. So the, the, um, 
the, the face also already changed the blood circulation is much better. So you can see that's why heart system works. So they didn't directly treat their head because a stroke, normally the stroke, you make sure they open their blood vessels in the brain and then injecting or whatever. Some even uh, people and, and not 100% no Chinese medicine, so they start beating the head or, or massage the head, all of that. But because if you know the system thinking, so you can see when the people fainted and the shock and have a pain, and then the first they react to what's happening, their hands and the feet gone very pale and cold, or a little bit even sweat. Why? Because they lose um, their, their, their blood, and then, you know, because the pulse normally you hold your yin, uh -huh, your liquid, and then your blood, you know, because the blood formulated by the liquid. Mm. So, but as soon as the body starts uh, kind of in the emergency uh, situation, so that's why all the blood vessels in the full extreme and then become, uh, you know, that because they try to push the blood back, but they are shortage because, you know, the body doesn't pump the blood back. So that's why they, they are in really, really become a um, short of supply. So that's one of the reasons when we were in the uh, Qigong class, we always uh, find that when the people do meditate, we ask them, so you put your hands together, you sit, relax, and then you just, you know, do all of the what we need to do and the sit can. And when they f followed, the instruction, the majority people feel their hands get warm. So that's why it fit in even the modern shock series. They find, you know, um, the the blood system is uh, almost like uh, uh, like Earth. So it's like if we, you are you are observing uh, the sea, the wave. So then when the wave very strong oh, touch the to the bank, uh, bank and the sand and then shh, taking back and then they, they touch. So that's why we call it, you know, the ending of the blood circulation is almost as like a la it's like a last beat and a wave, like a beat. And when they were beat, that's why they gave the all of the capillaries, you know, their blood vessels on the ending to be able to exchange and the fresh blood and then take, you know, to uh, process the, um, you know, the blood carried lots of, you know, um, lack of the oxygen. So it's like uh, the fresh blood carry more oxygen to supply. So because they are changing on the ending of their hands. So that's one of the reasons Chinese medicine and, and notice and also knowing so all of your feet and your hands is the uh, beginning of the ending of the meridians. So that's why they call it as like a, a spring point, <laughs> like a, the, the, the bottom of your feet as a, uh, is, is the beginning of the kidney point kidney meridians. So that's why the beginning point for the, uh, of the kidney meridian. So that's why they called spring point. That means the just energy come out as a spring. So that's one of the reasons why and um, we pay so much attention to make sure your hand and your feet circulation need to be take care. So that's why one of the reasons when we ran the um, uh, well-being uh, retreat, we uh, all, all in the Chinese medicine doctor, if like people have a headache or whatever, we always said, you make sure your feet warm. So that's why we ran the program said, you must put your feet on the hot water before you go to bed. And there are lots of people say, oh God, you know, I already washed in the morning. <laughs> oh. Why should I wash? But because they don't know this 
invisible multiple dimension system in the body. They are the antenna to go to the outside is through that those ending point on your four limbs. Uh -huh. So so almost it's like you get uh, that's why there's so much you know you see the pictures and then people doing the, the exercise the hold the hands above the, almost like uh, <laughs> embracing the universal energy mm. <laughs> and then can you imagine they're just like uh, the television on the all the time they have a tenor. So where the circuits of our energy get yeah. released. Yes. To to release and then receive. So that's what, why and now our bodies are open, they're constantly interacting with the outside world, nonstop, every second. So that's what one of the reasons even Chinese medicine developed, uh, uh, you may, uh, lots of people heard about feng shui. Feng Shui is like an architect, architect uh, you know, what is a house, a location, how is your window, how is, you know, the direction, what's uh, the air, how to uh, make an air flow. It's the same sense. So that's why, because when you were asleep in, in the house, and then you spend half of your day in your bed, but that's what highest the energy can nourish you and whether you sleep in very cold feet, so you're constantly, and then the body jerks and then create the blood stagnation, and then it will affect your whole body energy, you know, the vibration flow. And then there will, for long term, there will cause the damage on the internal organs and all your brain. Yeah, so that's partly, so it's how can you take care of your body? You know, just for simply just as the pain. And then there's already uh, indicate that kind of a blockage is a start from meridian system and the cause of the blood vessels. And the blood vessels maybe attack, you know, they, um, uh, they are not function well. They didn't uh, transform their blood into the nerve system. So that's why the nerve system doesn't function. So it's, it's the, the impact is the complex system, like a city, if you don't move the rubbish out in time. <laughs> so, and then of course the city won't function and people will in, in trouble. If you don't supply to the water in, you don't give the, um, the, the petrol for the car and then nobody can move. So that's why our body is the same. So, that's why um, that that's actually it's a, it's a fundamental um, the way of thinking uh -huh, for how to deal with the medical symptoms. <laughs> so because the pain is the issues. So that's why why um, why the Chinese medicine. A doctor, if they're good enough, they're not try to just stop people's pain. Uh, I remember I have a friend said, "Oh my God, I w I was uh, get to, to visit the acupuncturist master in the Chinese medicine, and then the price my you know body is so painful. I was a shot as I so painful, and then the doctor said, pain is good." <laughs> 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 so it's like, oh my god, that's really, that's like a Chinese torture. <laughs> that's, that's interesting though, because I've heard you mention before, uh -huh. in the West, when we experience body in our pain, we see that as a bad thing. Yeah. Sorry, pain in our body, we see that as a bad thing. But Chinese medicine is a little different, right? Because if we experience pain in our body, then that could also be the meridians opening up because they're getting more sensitive to the blockage. Is that correct? Um, meridians are always opening up. It's uh, it's just about when you have the pen, is the send the message to you. It said, "Here, please, give attention to me." It's like you know, if you're running the big system, um, 
like uh, their, their 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 factory. If there's any machine have a problem, that has a do, 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 and they give you a signal. So that's why you need to immediately go there to repair. Otherwise, they will explode. <laughs> yeah, the same sense, you know, because the meridians constantly move. You know, the and the energy vibration constantly flow and move. But if you don't treat them well, they're the, the, the flow and the move gets slow, gets stagnant. So therefore, the pain start, and then there actually is a signal, says the flash, said, hey, that's not flow well. Um, for the uh, Chinese medicine treatment, is that not, uh, the, yes, they, of course they want to release the pain, but they understand the system is not to disguise the pain. It's not try to cover the pain. Mm. Is that uh, they try to push the uh, the block blockage away to opening the channels to make a blockage flow out. So that's why we find a lot of people have treatment and say, "Oh wow, why I have even more more tired, more painful." Mm. Because people were expecting you take painkiller, pain goes away. But actually, take painkiller is means you cut the pain transmitter transmit to the your brain and to your body. It is like a signal has been blocked, so you don't need to feel pain. So you feel you're better. You just continue to do whatever you need to do. But of course, sometimes the painkiller, because the pain, as soon as you had the pain, you were tense. But if the painkiller you take, and then your life tends, you relax. Sometimes they do their work because when they relax, maybe the pain certainly, you know, the, the blockage certainly moved. So that's why people say, wow, it works, so they carry on to take. But in terms of if it take too much, too long, there is problem. Because if the pain underneath, there's a certain reason. You don't handle it. You just block the, the signals. Maybe that's problem just continue build. So when a person has just got a treatment and they feel more painful afterwards, uh -huh. is that because they're more sensitive to the mer their meridians in the first place, or because the pain is moving along the meridians? Um, they are. Uh, that's depends on each cases. Some people so so blocked. <laughs> <laughs> so you can see like that person's almost like blocks you know um, and okay in put this way I was doing the meridian massage I was fascinating because I was we do a little bit of experiment um, because there's a certain kind of uh, a method to measure meridians or how much meridian blocked some people uh, start we we measured there, there are 40 major meridians. There are 10 of them blocked. <laughs> so you can see how many people blocked. So, but when they slow blocked, you just, just feel heavy, uh, you feel tired, and you don't feel well, you feel you're smiley, but your senses still can function. Yeah, because the body is amazing system because the body is, um, our, our life system is constant work for you to build up the new balance to make sure you still can function. Mm. So that's why if you have something wrong, the constant work is try to make sure, you know, to bring the blood and bring things here and there and then to make sure you still can function. But so um, that's why when the people are not sensitive, or not knowing what his life is about. They just just continue burn burn up. Continue push. Of course, drinking wine is the one way because when you're drinking wine you just flop and then you don't feel anything and then uh, you have deep sleep, maybe through the sleep so you put yourself together. So people will think that's the way. Mm. Uh -huh. But of course that's why and then um, uh they're underneath not really, uh, probably not really resolved, especially for 
people's emotion or psychologically issues because those issues were deeply impact on the meridians and on the body. So that's one of the reasons why when you were people so blocked when they start and just by answering your questions, when they start treatment, because you know the treatment you cannot unblock everything at once. Because body if it's a multi dimension system, they have layers. <laughs> There's one layer by the other layers, so, so you can only resolve problems from the one layer and then to the others, so just continue uh, going deeper to clean. Just like if your house is very, very dirty, so you just said, okay, I better start cleaning. And then um, some of the people have a floor, um, you know, wood floor, but that wood floor they haven't cleaned for 10 years. Can you imagine, you know, the soup drop, the water drop, and then the dust, you know, kind of. So uh, you just said, okay, I'm going to clean deeply. So as soon as you clean, maybe the smell comes out. And then I feel more smelly and more dirty. Just just like uh, I, sometimes people tell me, oh, why whenever I start treatment, I feel uh, and it's more bad, or worse. I said, well, like uh, normally, if we, you go into the pond, so you uh, there's a lot of uh, mud underneath, but you still can see on the surface. There's clean water, and then there's a fish, and says it's nice. <laughs> so you just said, okay, I'm going to make the pond as a brand new. <laughs> so it's like, mm -hmm, I got to, you know, <laughs> clean that kind of a mud. Can you imagine? As soon as you're, you start stir the bottom part, so and the, even the surface clean water become muddy. Mm. Yeah, that is what we call the process. <laughs> like lots of people said, oh, I want to do the qigong and the internal acme, make your body very bright and very light, very healthy. And then <laughs> when they start, they like, oh, I feel terrible. I have a pain. I did this today. I was more smelly and the more kind of, a, uh, you know, and a dream and a nightmare. So why am I practicing? Am I getting worse? So because of the pond, the, the mud start all come to the surface. <laughs> so when you knowing that, so your, your body can turn so much information. Okay, just, just, just imagine that your body is the giant <laughs> biocomputer, so they can turn information. So you start realizing, oh, I got a lot of negative memories negative kind of a habit. So now, wow, that's why every time I think negatively, I, will, I had a bad dream, I have a pain. Da, da, da. So uh, I must going to stop that. So that's why people start to meditate and then exercise. So of course, you start stir all of that out. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why lots of people, they, they, they have a, the perception of the home meditation, all oh, nice. But they didn't realize. Can you imagine if you try to clear up the system which have lots of junk? Uh -huh. You have to release it. It's almost like the virus is dormant. And then when you start these processes, it starts becoming active again. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So you start identify why, which that's the virus, why they are, how can I release it? Mm, but it fights back too. Uh, yes, can do. But of course, that's why you need to... <laughs> <laughs> okay, sorry, projection. <laughs> that's why you need to be understand how that system works. So to be able to know how to let him go and release it. So that's one of the reasons why there's so many people going through the journey, try to do the body work and then try to do the emotion cleaning up, try to do the spiritual upgrade. So, and then that's why they are looking for someone to have experience. 
it's just like you cannot say the and uh, open the system so oh so much virus <laughs> so much information we put this one oh i i download that's good program but at the same time i download the virus right yeah. so therefore so you have you, you got to learn how to keep the, the the good program how to get rid of the virus so that's, that's also as the skill we will see and why our um, body, well, our life system is a complex system. So, so and then because you're, we are not expecting everything's pure, everything's a peace, and everything's comfortable. I hate the world doesn't function like that. So going back to your mindset as a doctor, uh -huh. is that why, even though the problem can be very complex, mm -hmm. that the treatments can be very simple, like warming the feet and warming the hands? Mm -hmm. Is that why? Because you don't want to bring up too much stuff and you want to balance out the system in a way that you know will give some positive benefit to begin with? Uh, yes. So, for example, no, like when when we ask the children, we already been told. So you do the f uh, hot food bath, you know, warm your feet. So from your very young, you you start to it. So that means you're not waiting for your body deteriorate to start. So that means like, you no, know, okay, uh, when you come, you're very fresh. You make sure you maintain the freshness. What about for someone who is an adult and they're experiencing health problems? Yeah, that's one of the reasons you have, you've got to prepare step by step. So that's why I introduce to do their full time for health and then to, um, to kind of a connecting with the cosmos energy, sun and the moon. Through those vibrations, you start to uh, in tune them to adjusting. So, and then that will make treatment much easier. Because if you're doing the treatment, you definitely, and, and then access to the energetic system, try to clear them up. But of course, um, meridians is a really fascinating system. They can clear up things um, much faster than normal. It's because, uh, they are, they are the cosmos vibration. Uh -huh. We mentioned that many times. So that's one of the reasons if you can connect in with the cosmos vibration, so you use much powerful energy to clear them up. So that's another reason why people doing, uh, there are some kind of even Qigong, they're called Meridian Qigong. It's like a, you follow the Meridian uh, flow to do qigong so therefore you constantly clear up your energy to maintain your body in a good state and uh, so that's uh, that's why when the people already had a uh, blockage have already so that's so uh, one of the reason why the acupuncture become a very popular <laughs> so that if the people regularly to go into their, their treatment. So it's almost like they the continue clear, uh, continue working on that energy to make sure they flow free. So because there's not means we directly give an antibiotic to treat virus. It doesn't work like this. The Chinese medicine is to strengthen your original defense system, your original light and the energy to make sure you're connecting the highest vibration. It's almost like you're connecting the, um, your own healer, uh -huh, your own divine force. So to be able to do the self healing. So that is the 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 real point. That's why Huang Di Neijing, the Yellow Emperor, has been mentioned that said when you are very calm, you follow the four times, you go with the cosmos, the universe, and the in the yang. So you never been attacked, because you uh, vibrating the highest uh, energy, which you emerging with them, you are already been protected. Mm. 
Uh -huh. So, but now the human have such an ego thinking I can do everything. My body is my. I just want. So I just enjoy that. So that's why the um, desire come, and then they don't really in tune to the, you know, the the heaven and then the nature. So that's why the gradually they they are blocked. Uh -huh. So that's why I want to just uh, through that uh, kind of the pen as examples. So you can see, um, lots of people said that if you really clear up, do you feel painful? I said, you don't feel pain. If you really practice well, you don't feel pain. That means you don't have a block. So you are in that kind of state. You just said, huh? Naturally, <laughs> you are quite uh, happy and then uh, quite kind of a uh, light. But why there's uh, almost everybody experience pain? So that's why we need to look into that. Is that the pain caused by the uh, um, emotion because you haven't deal with that? Or you are mistreat your body, you're not taking care? Or there are some other reasons, like uh, people if they have a mission, if they haven't done that. So that's why the serious disease come. <laughs> so this is. Why the this is? Because if you didn't go with your own flow, so that this is happening. Because if it, like you signed, um, you're meant to uh, do the healing work. Because I see one of the patients like that. She said, my dream from my childhood is I want to become a doctor. I just feel I really want to helping people. But her parents said, huh, doctor, blood, mm, those things, no good. So you're, you're better to become a civil servant. So, you have, so your life is not hard because you have to, you know, the doctor life is very hard. Some of the Indian um, emergency department so you be on call all the time and very stressful and then you're standing for hours for you know rescue people so and then the um, parents say, oh that's very hard life no way so and then she followed her um, parents wish <laughs> so become a civil servant she had a steady income and uh, everything is uh, have a children have a husband everything's okay but can you imagine she come to me and said that's really weird the whole body painful uh, and then uh, sometimes it's just so painful I cannot sleep I lie there feel so painful so I, I checked that. I said, "Huh? Ah, you, you, you have some deep program. Uh, you want to help other people, but you didn't do it." And uh, she said, "Yes, I was a dream. I was very passionate. Every time I if I see the doctor, I just feel I should be there, <laughs> but she, she wasn't." But later on, I said, look, now there's a serious warning to you. Because can you imagine that she's the type of the person very caring about her health and then doing everything supposed to be well-being part mm. is done properly. But she still have a pain. But of course, after I treat her and then did some marine clean and then she said she can see the light in her heart chakra. And then she said, yes, I really need to, to do what I meant to do. And uh, she's going to sign for volunteer for emergency, for a, a rescue, you know, the, um, uh, whoever, the people sick. So, and then she did find uh, those uh, charity organizations and they tried to sign. Amazingly, her pain is much better. So that's another aspect I want to show. The um, pen have different levels. Why would you, you ask, said, why is the multi-dimensional system? The multi-dimensional is not just about the physical material part. 
there are there's the blood and the blood red blood cells sure. coming. There's also the emotion part, but there's another aspect, is about the, your soul. What what is your archetype? What is your sign for? If you haven't done that, so that means you're against flow. It's very interesting because it's so easy, even if you're aware of that, to get caught up mm. in the mind again, saying, "I'm doing everything right. I'm working hard. My discipline is great. I'm doing this, but it's just I feel horrible." Even if you're aware of that, why is it so easy to get caught back up into that、um, game, if you would like to call it that? Okay, that is uh, uh, some something much deeper, because we、uh, we are here is to learn how to release our bad pattern, because、uh, human is、uh, habitual. A、habitual type of uh, 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 animal, put this way. We、mm. have an animal part, but of course we have a spiritual part.、Um, but this、uh, habit, which is、uh, connecting your、uh, physical habit, which was a desire, you build up. When you were young, and then you constant think this way, you constant function on that way. So that's why the constant release, either certain her hormone or block your certain kind of sense, and then build up that's、uh, that's kind of a program.、Um, we call it like a virus program.、Uh-huh. Um, for example, like um, um, people、uh, when they were. I heard that's kind of an extreme case.、Um, the、uh, the person、uh, is the thief, huh? So when he's very young, he picked the other people, the staff back to the home. The mother said, "Oh, you're very good. You're thinking for you know, you're you're bring back you know sense for family." So he thought it's good. So of course, when he's growing up, it's just constant do it, because、mm. they has been encouraged by the family. So and then later, of course, he was、uh, caught up because criminal, because he starts stolen and bigger and bigger. So um, so by the end, he was、uh, sentenced. So and the because the mother loves him, so and then he. Was take to the、uh, sentence, you know, the the place. But he said, "I want to speak to my mother because he saw the mother was there." Th- that's actually some ancient stories. So and the, and and then he said, "Mom,、uh, before I go, I want to have the last request." So the mother said yes, and the mother is of course so soaking, you know, um, and sad. He said, "Oh, whatever," because the mother is, you know, always kind of、uh, fit in what he he wants. Actually, that's really <laughs> by the program, right?、Mm-hmm. Um, he said, "Oh, I just want to um, uh, have the last thief." Uh huh. For for milks because it's like children your 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 suck your mother's breast and your so it's like a showing said that that's my last request, so the mother said okay, whatever he want, so he actually bit his mother's nipples. Oh, because he hate his mother, because by the time he's going to be sentenced, because the mother never. Tell him not to do that, because the mothers encourage him. So that's why lead him as a such bad habit leading into the crime. So, in China, I remember that's the kind of like typical stories to teach the parents that, you know, you need really to build up. You need to say no. Uh, to build up good habit for the kids, otherwise they were leading to bad habit will be ruin them.、Mm-hmm. So,、uh, so that's one of the、uh, 
uh, reason, we will say, because quite lots of a program running, maybe even not as the parents, as an external world. So now they are in the society, uh, uh, beautiful, sexual, and everything is above that. So the people, you, you can see there's the primarial kind of a desire and has been stimulated and doesn't know how to channel it. Mm -hmm. So and then they don't really know how to cultivate themselves and then have a peaceful mind and how to uh, learn, you know, the good skill and then to support them. And then it's like uh, uh, how to be uh, really conducting themselves uh, in their uh, behavior, in their school, to be able to fit the in why you are here, to be able to upgrade you as your particular soul, as a particular person. Yeah, I don't want to get too deep into this because it uh -huh. seems like it could be a whole nother conversation. But I imagine as a doctor, you take this into your mindset for which patients are sort of walking that path and which patients are not. And that determines your treatment method too. Yes, because a lot of uh, um, patients, you treat their body, you start realize there's quite a lot of uh, fundamental pattern awards from very beginning hasn't been set up properly. Mm. Like... Um, I start realize when I were in the clinic, I see so many people uh, feet is cold. Uh -huh. And then there's a headache because there's massive people have a headache and they have arthritis, have a lot of, uh, you know, irritable bowel symptoms. But that's why from right the beginning, it's not just talking simple well-being program. There's n not any and you've been told you need to keep your feet warm. And we're not talking the deep other program. Yeah. Yeah. There's something simple like that. Or even you tell people now, but majority of people not to really carry on um, to do it because they never really get habit to do it. They don't really think that's important because if there's anything wrong, they can just take a painkiller and have a quick access stop. But they didn't realize there's something deeply going in. Even the drugs, the drugs all, all have to go through their liver uh -huh, because they have a chemical. So you have to, to through the liver to detox. So that's why there are so many people and then ended up have a liver strain but without really thinking that ton takes tons of uh, and the pain color could be contribute to that. So that's why I'm just uh, feel like why I'm dressing that because I feel uh, no, talking about the, our body is a miracle. How much body constant in dealing the toxic you put in, there's some habit and have a certain energy you put in, the constant process and then try to detox. So that's why we will say the symptom, symptoms is a good friend of you. If you eat anything toxic, you know what happening? You feel sick, you vomiting. Mm. Well, people say, stop vomiting, terrible. And then in the Chinese medicine, brilliant. No, <laughs> the toxic vomiting out. <laughs> Quickly drink some water and get them <laughs> clear up <laughs> and then make sure. So that's why it's uh, the concept about how to understand your body. Yeah, and it has that uh, those uh, vibration energy works because bo uh, no, um, body actually is amazing system um, Sing, you know, like information system. So it's not just only energy and only vibration and the material. It's a massive information you constantly receive, you constantly release. So that's why how your body to dealing the information, what information you choose to, to store inside you. So that's, that's one of the reasons why we just said, um, when any society to encourage people to be much more 
um, connecting with nature, to uh, concerned for the others, be more peaceful and follow the nature's rhythm, rhythms. So therefore, that's more encourage the virtue because you in line with the nature, you are much more um, virtually um, not to try to destroy it was the big vibration around you with your environment to protect you. Um, so that's, that's one of the uh, parts, you know, the Chinese medicine doctors, why when, when we were um, dealing with patients, you, you know, your content said, why, or as soon as patients sit down, you just didn't say, why that sickness come from? You're not just, uh, just uh, misleading by the pen, but the pen is the signal. But through the pen, you start to understand what is the behind uh, cause that. That's why, why Chinese medicine treat each person different. They don't give the, the same pen mm. <laughs> Because the same pen could be caused by 100 different reasons. Uh -huh. So that's why in the Chinese medicine, they always say the same disease, there's different methods to treat. Mm -hmm. Because you really need the spots on what is will be suitable for this particular person. So otherwise, you were dumped something which not suit you, and then you gave the body even more pressure and a burden to have to process. So that's why this uh, request. So the Chinese medicine doctor have uh, uh, such kind of uh, um, a specific uh, awareness. Uh, so that's for another reason why their practice about the uh, Qigong, the meditation is so important because you, um, we need, we, we use our own body as a tenor. So that's why, um, why we were always encouraging people said, oh, you need to keep your, your skin clean. You need to do the, do the washing. You need to kind of do the massage to make sure your blood flow well. Because I can you imagine that our body, each hair, each, each the, the, the hair of the skin, like the skin pose, mm -hmm. you know, you know, the yeah, skin the pose have a little hair. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So how much we have got that in our skin? Lots. <laughs> Millions, <laughs> right? <laughs> Millions. So those are a tenor. Can you imagine our body have so much a tenor to, to the environment? And, and then, so that's why by the summer, the pores are open. You can see that and they're really <laughs> open. So why, why in the winter, it's so cold, you put so much clothes and then your skin, it just kind of closed. So the antennas are all going down. <laughs> so to, to make sure, you know, that's why we, we, we said this, uh, winter is the hibernate, it's a restore. So it's like, a, you put machine to, you know, you, you put your television to receive the, you know, the uh, signals when you want to watch, watch. So when you're not, you know, you close them down and hide in, <laughs> in the cup, carpet, uh, cabinet and all whatever. So it's uh, our human body is like you need rest to preserve and also to open it up. So those attenders uh, start to get the information to deal with that. Mm. So that uh, is a part of the treatment, but of course is the discipline, how to practice. So, and that's why people said, oh, you know, I, uh, I had the, uh, the operation with some doctors, but they cut the wrong place for me, you know, the operation. And and then I start to realize, I was like, my God, I remember when I were um, uh, in that situation, because I was working with a group, the doctors, and some of the, them to go to have a drink in, in the evening. But the next day, they have a hangover. Can you imagine the doctor, after drink, they have a hangover. How could they focus? 
to do the work uh -huh. for the patients. So the accuracy, because you need calling yourself, conducting your all kind of adjustment need to be accurate. So that's why I, I uh, why this person that said the doctor cut in the wrong place. And the later on, for some reason, I heard that, that doctor that before the operation, they drink. Uh -huh. So I have a, a, a friend, uh, she's very observing, she's uh, Swiss. She said, I was amazing. I was watching those uh, acrobat, you know, the, uh, the Chinese acro acrobat performs. So that's the, <clears throat> she said, wow, they're doing something so accurate because they're swinging on the eye, uh, eye so, and then they have to cut each other and then go through the rain and then like that. So <laughs> almost like every second to be exactly correct, otherwise you'll fall down, you'll die. <laughs> Such kind of a <laughs> accuracy. And then he said, I was fascinating. How could it be so accurate? He said, I was observing before the performs and they said oh they all stay there nobody talking like a stillness meditate so because that is the, the point they're in the stillness they're conducting themselves uh -huh, to make sure every part of their body will be in the best the working state the state of the, the to to uh, for the movement, for the Chinese medicine doctor. That's why lots of people say, "How can I find a very good doctor?" I just said, "Very simple. If they give your treatment, if they chat with you, mm, no. So because normally they try to get things done, they're very quiet. Because they use their all their antenna." try to identify, detective what is going on to find that the true deep reasons. So that's why um, I saw there's a lot of uh, very good um, doctor that uh, old doctor, because a lot of them is gone now, <laughs> that died. Um, they're very peaceful. Their whole life is like a Taiji movement. And they are actually conducting themselves in that Tai Chi speed. Even the way they talk, they're very calm, very peace, because they make sure they're conducting themselves in that kind of a vibration. They can be uh, the best function to get information predicted and then get. Um, the best uh, the energy to release. Uh -huh. So that's that's why. But now you can see the society encourage you get very excited and then push very hard and then exhausted <laughs> and another push very hard. So for <laughs> for the Chinese medicine, you don't push. You keep that in the same speed. <laughs> you keep going. You're never tired, and then you never stop. Ah, interesting, huh? <laughs> mm. uh, so that is a part of why there's so so many report. I can I talk to the uh, NHS, uh, uh, the um, and the boss. They said, Ah, yeah. Regarding how to do the um, uh, community health well-being yeah well-being uh, program yeah and I'm, I'm, I told you uh, support for using Tai Chi because there's a thousands of article proof Tai Chi works mm. <laughs> because yeah the Tai Chi it is is like Tai Chi is a fundamental understanding when your uh, the vibration the energy flow in the meridian system is the Tai Chi speed. Uh -huh. It's like uh, uh, 38 millimeters on the one second. Amazing, huh? That is the measurement. 38 milliliters. M millimeters. 38 millimeters. And the one second. Of movement. Of the movement. 
That's interesting. Yeah. So that's is that's is about you know why when the Taiji speed so slow because you're you're moving one second thirty 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 eight millimeters. So you know you constantly move like that. So and then in Chinese medicine said with that speed, you are nourishing yourself. <laughs> you're gurning the energy. So that's why you're doing the movement. You're not you're not stagnant to sit there because you you keep moving. But as a moving, you're gaining lots of energy. But in the West, you say, "Wow, push, push, you know, push, push up, and then <laughs> sit up, and then you know, there's a running." So because of all of that fast movement, you burn lots of uh, calorie. Yes, you squeeze the blood flow. Yes, of course. And and help, but but you know what they released the acidity. Uh huh. So your body have to absorb to process that. Uh huh. But see, that's what, why you know when you are doing Tai Chi, you keep moving, <laughs> but you don't release the acid acidity, and at the same time your blood flow, and at the same time you're nourishing. So that's why you don't need much uh, tablets, <laughs> or doesn't need to eat too much meat, because <laughs> the, the energy from the cosmos through your moving. So that's why they are, so if you understand that, that that's also they find that's a, the same speed has the uh, vibration flow inside the meridians. So that's is why it uh, s- uh, slow. But people, you know, you can say I find when they were watching the Western <laughs> or watching the film when they da 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 da, you know, fight and so I just find uh, my system just just sh- shut shut down. I fall asleep <laughs> <laughs> because you know they were drained because they're too fast. When they're too fast, because when they're fast, they get into you. Your body have too fast. As soon as your body get too fast, you're tired. Well, I'm just give you a little bit kind sure. of a daily life uh, inside about how is <laughs> the chief law. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't totally understand it all, but I'm sure it will all be revealed. So yeah, <laughs> so that's uh, that's w- one of the reason why if we, the people sometimes people say, "Wow, the Eastern film, you no, know, you know, they blow that kind of uh, uh, music and they're so slow, and then just make you feel very sleepy." <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, of course. So that's one of the reason when you're watching that, it doesn't cost you much energy, so you don't feel tired. But of course, when people watching the film, they get excited afterwards. They exhausted. <laughs> so I would just want to give you some other idea. So how can you do? Uh, your well-being and then to understand how your body function, how to preserve those kind of uh, uh, energy and then your body, vi- uh, you know, vital force in any uh, circumstance. So you can see why people overstimulate. They got very excited, but afterwards, and then there are some of the disease happening. Uh, so you 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 pay the price. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. Um, so I hope that you know I'm just kind of like uh, try to give your some of their understanding for you, especially for lots of people who not necessarily have to be the Chinese medicine doctor and then has to be. Uh, a patient, acupuncture patients, but it's just uh, understand there's a, a profound um, the wisdom in the body in our daily life for every minute. But it's how much you will be able to conducting it. Do you understand how much you're conducting or you're destroy that the amazing system or you are. Um, 
utilize that as their best the way, uh -huh. and then protect it as the best way, and then you you will be able uh, also upgrade it. Uh, that's why lots of people after uh, meditating or doing qigong, doing some exercises, said, "Wow, I, my perception is different. I can smell more. Uh, even I haven't done anything. I can sense more, and I can have much more energy without tired." Uh -huh. So that's why how how is that? So it looks like a very simple, uh -huh. but actually. It's quite profound. It's like uh, you understand what it is. What I'm trying to do here is to explaining about uh, why and how is that system work from my understanding. Great. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you.